My name is Dave Miles. I'm the FOSI director for Europe, Middle East and Africa. But from a family online safety perspective, I have to say there's still remarkable change going on within the region, not only in terms of the way youngsters use new technology, particularly with mobile phones, but their use of video and social media. So overall, it's a very exciting time with some interesting trends. Yes, GRID, the Global Resource and Information Directory, is a free portal um, which is available um, to anybody that wishes to use it. And that tracks the activities of around 194 countries around the world. And the MENA region, which consists of 22 countries, we track 18 of those. So for anybody interested in the policy aspects of family online safety, the legislation, research, and active organizations, GRID is a, an ideal resource to start. My name is Justin Weiss, and I'm responsible for international privacy at Yahoo. Great, Justin, tell me what Yahoo is doing to keep kids safe in the region. Well, in all of our work, we try to find ways to accommodate local sensitivities and local interests. And in the child safety and privacy arena, we've actually had an interesting experience with a new product that was launched locally from our Dubai office that's available in Arabic, principally, also in English and French, and it's called Yahoo Oasis. A site like that is a way for us to help engage younger populations that are using technologies and try to educate on responsible and smart ways to still access the web. Um, through that type of gaming experience. I'm Luke Delaney, I'm European Policy Manager at Facebook. Great. Luke, what were you discussing on your panel today? We discussed a wide variety of interesting topics on our panel today. Interestingly, we, also, we specifically talked about mm -hmm. young people and teenagers and what kind of protections we can offer them online. And at Facebook, we have a different type of settings for teenage users. For example, they can't be found in public search, so that if you were to look on a public search engine, they have slightly more protection because they can't be found. Social media can be used in a variety of ways by young people, including in the education environment. And uh, we've recently sponsored a guide actually for educators that can help them find ways in their schools to use Facebook carefully and safely. For example, they could set up a group for a class project uh, where students can talk with each other or with a teacher without necessarily even friending them so that they don't have to have that too strong a connection if, if that's what they feel is most appropriate. Or even with a public Facebook page, for example, some schools use those to educate parents on when Parents' Day might be or sharing photos from Sports Day events. Okay, I'm Ar Mohamed. I work in Al Jazeera as social media with social media team and leading some Arabic projects in the region. Um, I do like some uh, of projects like Tekridat, we translate uh, the Twitter platform. And also I do social media uh, training for uh, Al Jazeera and some ministries here in Qatar and outside. The social media as a platform is the solution, so that's why they went in the revolution. But I think from my personal opinion, uh, there is a gap between uh, the expert in Arab region and the youth. So that gap is changed after they discover themselves and their problems on social media. There is other gap between the government and the youth. So that gap, it takes time to uh, the government understand what is social media. It's a good solution, but we will not uh, go to the youth. We say you are one, and we cannot focus also on social media and we say you are a great platform and you help the Arab revolution. No, the Arab revolution is coming from the migration between uh, the expert in, uh, in our region and the youth. And I think also the government, they finally they understand what social media. We say some of important and VIP people, people in Middle East, they join uh, Twitter, they join Facebook, they join Google Plus and etc. Besides, we will focus about Arab region. We have um, a culture, it's control. Uh, uh, the activities from the kids, they do it online and actually also uh, from the religion side, uh, we have a lot of um, orders from the parents to kids to control what they see it on the internet. Uh, also, the the changes happened between uh, before we all kids they have a computer now they have a mobile. So how can we uh, provide them with some tips and knowledge? How can they control uh, the technology? How can we tell them what is good, what is not not good? from the government, from parents, from uh, safety online uh, societies, and etc. Hi, I'm Larry Maggot, and I'm the co-director of ConnectSafely.org. 
Larry, what were you talking about on your panel here? Well, with the impact of social media, and although we were talking about online safety, we were really talking about how social media has revolutionized this region of the world. Certainly Arab Spring was a perfect example, and how young people are using social media obviously for political and social change, but also personal growth and their, their, own, their own development. So it was really a very upbeat, positive panel uh, with people from industry, from Al Jazeera, uh, and folks from Facebook, and Yahoo from, the, from uh, the United States and Europe, and a general agreement that for the most part, uh, this is a very positive development, but of course, we do have to be careful, as, as is the theme of this and other FOSI conferences, uh, to make sure the kids are using it in a safe and responsible manner. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, Ann Collier and I wrote a booklet called Facebook for Parents about a year and a half ago, but Facebook is constantly changing and went through a radical transformation this fall. So we have a new version of, of our Parents Guide to Facebook in Arabic. Uh, it, of course, it's in English, at fbparents.org, that's fb as in Facebook, parents.org, but it's also now in Arabic, and we will have links to the Arabic version, Spanish, Russian, other languages, at fbparents.org. My Khalifa Saleh Haroun, I'm the President of the Strategy of Vodafone, and I'm the President of iLoveQatar.net. The people who can help their children. In the school, even if the teacher says, it's necessary to go online and go to this place, they say, this is the teacher, this is what I don't know. بس اذا الام او الاب يقولون لحظه ولدي انت ايش قاعد تسوي؟ ليش انت قاعد في الموقع؟ هاي شنو اللعبه اللي انت بغيت تلعبها؟ بيفكر شويه قبل هو يسوي شيء، اهم شيء التوعيه من ناحيه من 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 ناحيه الاهالي والابوين والمناقشه عن التكنولوجيا اللي الاطفال او الشباب بيستعملونها يستعملونها في في ال في ال في الايام القادمه ان شاء الله. كنت استعمل فيسبوك عمري 18 بس هاي لان الفيسبوك تاخر علينا. بس قبل ان استعمل فيسبوك وتويتر كنا ندش في منتديات واليوم اذا انتم تشوفين يعني اول يعني من اول توب يعني 50 يعني مواقع في قطر معظمهم منتديات. معناته الناس يحبون يناقشون وقبل المنتديات كان الناس يستعملون آه فري تيل كانت شاشه خضراء ويكتبون وتشاتنج وشي وقبل يعني عقبه يا الماسنجر فمهما احنا سوينا السوشيال ميديا مو بمعناته السوشيال ميديا فيسبوك وتويتر فيسبوك السوشيال ميديا معناته الارتباط بين الاشخاص عن طريق الانترنت علشان آه يشاركون بعض في مناقشه او انه يشاركون الصور متخصص في في مجال تكنولوجيا التعليم حاليا اول اول برودكت عندنا اللي هو لعبه تعليميه تكون اونلاين اسمها وناسه وور او عالم الوناسه فكره اللعبه بكل بساطه يعني ندمج التعليم بالترفيه ويعني الكثير من الناس ادعوا ان يدمجوا التعليم بالترفيه بشكل او باخر لكن احنا ندعي يعني بشكل ان ان نحاول نوصل الموضوع بطريقه ثانيه الاساس عندنا الترفيه لان هاي اللي بيجذب الطالب وبيجذب الطفل للموضوع لكن مع مع الترفيه نحاول ندخل التعليم بشكل غير مباشر بحيث يعني حتى ولي الامر يشجع الطالب انه يلعب مش مش ينفر الطالب يعني ذا مثال بس عشان اوضح الفكره من خلال الموضوع مثلا احنا سوينا مثل سامبل بسيط على موضوع الجمع شلون نعلم الطالب الجمع؟ الطفل عادة في الألعاب التعليمية يتعلم الجمع يجيبون له تفاحة وبعدين زائد تفاحة كم يساوي؟ ويقول له تفاحتين، اوكي ثلاث تفاحات زائد ثلاث تفاحات وهاي هاي يقول لعبة تعليمية، هاي مستوى الألعاب التعليمية الموجودة في السوق، لكن احنا ندعي ان ناخذ الموضوع لليفل أكبر من هالشيء. يعني المثال كان انه مثلا طفل يقابل كبير في السن، يعني اللعبه فيها فيها تفاعل مع لاعبين اخرين، فيها تفاعل مع مع البيئه، مع يدخل اماكن ويتفاعل مع اوبجيكتس وكذا. فيتفاعل مع مع كبير في السن، كبير السن ما يقدر يعني يتحرك وكذا. فيطلب من الطفل انه يساعده في يجيب بعض الفواكه للبيت. فيقول للطفل ان مثلا زوجتي محتاجه تفاحه وانا محتاج تفاحتين وولد الجيران محتاج برتقاله وبنتي الصغيره عندها محتاجه برتقالتين وكذا فروح جمع لي الموضوع اذا تقدر تساعدني فهني ممكن ناخذ الحس ان هل يساعد الاخرين يساعد كبار السن وكذا نعلم الطفل هالموضوع بعدين يروح الطفل للمزرعه ويجمع تفاح يلعب لعبه تفاح تتساقط وكذا ويكون في في متعه في الموضوع. 
بعدين يطلب منه السيستم انه يذكره يعني الكبير السن طلب انه تفاحه وتفاحتين فعندك سلال تفاح فيها ثلاثه واربعه وخمسه اي سله بتعطي فهني بيتعلم الجمع بطريقه غير مباشره بعد ما يخلص بتقول له والله ترى انت علمت الجمع يعني ونحاول انه يربط الموضوع ببيئته بحياته اليوميه يعني اذا مثلا راح السوق وشاف تفاحه وتفاحتين يعرف ان هذا جمع واحد واثنين بدل ما يكون نظريات في الكتب وفي المدرسه ما ما لها علاقه بحياته اليوميه يعني بشكل بشكل عام الموضوع I'm Kim Sanchez and I'm with Microsoft the trustworthy computing group. Well, it's important for Microsoft to be involved across the globe because we have consumers and customers all across the world who are concerned about keeping themselves and their families safer online. And this is one of the ways that we can bring a culture of online safety and digital citizenship to the region. It's been great to see the commitment that people in the region have to online safety. And uh, we just heard a presentation from ICT Cutter and, and learned a lot about the great work that they're making, the, the great work they're doing to make sure that the kids are educated in this country. John Carr, and I'm from the British uh, Children's Charities Coalition on Internet Safety, and I'm also the expert advisor to the European uh, Coalition of Child Safety Online Organizations. We were talking about two things. Overwhelmingly, we were focusing on the positive uses of the internet and new technology in schools, in the education sector, and the wonderful opportunities it opens up for children to learn in a more interesting and creative way. Uh, but we also, of course, focused on some of the security issues, the safety issues surrounding it. But I've been very impressed by the way the Qatari government, in particular, uh, are approaching online safety and the technology. Every kid in every Qatari school has a computer, has a device which they can also take home with them in the evening. So the Qataris have recognized the central importance of the technology for young people in the future and are going about it in an admirable way. But also, again, they get the safety angle. Uh, they haven't let the safety concerns block out or blot out the, again, the positive aspects of what the technology can do for kids. So that was a wonderful thing to hear about.